From Monarch Antenna, this is the tunable handset antenna for the LTE Global Roaming Band. It measures 10 by 10 by 4 millimeters and features a frequency tuning range from 2 to 2.8 gigahertz, 64 subbands selected by 6 independent DC control lines, true aperture tuning, and the ability to recover from severe detuning, or a VSWR of 30 to 1. It utilizes six bare die switches wire bound to the board that connect and disconnect shorting pins to ground. On the bottom here are the DC lines for the switches, and in the middle here are the switches and the shorting pins. And this is the RF connector on the right. The actual antenna tuning is the result of combinations of active shorting pins. This is the radiating side of the patch antenna, and here you can see the other side of the shorting pins. Here's a quick demo to show the antenna recovering from a detuning. On the left is a simple microcontroller taking the place of a cell phone the antenna would normally be in. It iterates through combinations of the switches looking for the lowest power reflection to optimize the tuning. The LEDs show which switches are activated. Notice LEDs 1, 2, 3, and 5 are on for this initial tuning. Here I place my hand on the antenna to detune it and run the tuning algorithm. The last three LEDs are now on, showing the optimal combination for that particular detuning. Removing my hand and running the algorithm again, notice the LEDs return to their previous tuning state where the antenna was unobstructed. On the network analyzer here, I've tuned the antenna to its base state. An oscillator is used here on the shield to make the antenna tuned to around 2.6 GHz. Let's save a trace of this state to see what happens to the antenna's center frequency as we touch it. Notice as my hand touches the antenna, as if I were picking up a cell phone, it detunes and the center frequency drops. Say you set something in your phone and it detunes it like you see here. Let's run the algorithm again to see if it can recover to around 2.6 GHz. For the sake of demonstration in this video, this retuning process is being done manually. A complete implementation is to have the algorithm automatically pull the reflected power and find the best switch combination. Notice the state of the LEDs indicating this tuning's appropriate switch combination. If we recheck the antenna on the network analyzer, it should almost match the green line, our unobstructed case. And we can see the opposite case by removing the red block and seeing the antenna detune upward in frequency. The yellow line on the network analyzer moved to the right, indicating that indeed it tuned upward. To finish the demo, running the algorithm on our controller again will bring it back to its base tuning state and match our original trace. Again, notice LEDs 1, 2, 3, and 5 are activated, and the antenna has indeed been retuned to its original state as seen by the overlapping yellow and green lines on the network analyzer. This has been a demonstration of the tunable antenna for 4G LTE for handsets from Monarch Antenna. For more information, please email or call us using the information on the screen. Thanks for watching.